Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about working of human heart. Heart is a muscular organ located in the chest cavity and its function is to pump the blood. So, let us try to understand the human heart diagram with the help of a very simple box type of diagram. So, here uh, let us consider a box like this. and I am dividing this into four parts. The upper two chambers are called auricles or atrium. So, these two upper chambers are called atrium. Single is atrium, atria is plural, we can also call it as auricles. Lower two chambers are called ventricles now these two are this is the right side this is the left side see from viewers perspective this is the right side but you have to imagine that you are sleeping over here facing the camera then that and imagine that you are sleeping and this is your heart then your right side would be in this direction. Okay. Now, these two upper chambers are atrium. So, this is right atrium. This is left atrium. This is right ventricle. This is left ventricle. Now, between atrium and ventricle, there is a tricuspid valve. And between left atrium and left ventricle there is bicuspid valve. So, between right atrium and right ventricle there is a tricuspid valve. This tricuspid valve is called tricuspid because it is made up of three cusps like this. This is one flap this is second flap, this is third flap. So, you can consider this to be the leaves opening like this. This is one, this is second. Imagine my third hand to be over here. So, all three hands opening together like this, two like this and one from here. So, it has got three cusps. So, it, it opens and it closes. The function of the valve is to prevent the backflow of the blood. So, the blood comes like this valves open and the blood enters like this and when 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 these two lower chambers when they contract the blood does not go in the upper direction due to the presence of the valve so the valves they actually prevent the backflow of the blood here between left atrium left ventricle there is bicuspid valve This is called bicuspid valve because if you look like this then it is made up of two flaps. So, both the flaps they open like this and they close like this. So, that is why it is bicuspid valve. Okay, Let us continue our discussion over here. Now, here are body organs which are located at the bottom of the heart. lungs are situated over here these are lungs and now what is going to happen the let us consider This is the biggest artery in our body which originates from left ventricle and this is called aorta. 
so from here the blood enters like this this is oxygenated blood this oxygenated blood goes to the body organs and the body organs they receive the oxygen and they throw the carbon dioxide into the blood due to respiration and then this carbon dioxide containing blood is given back to the heart over here okay now this one is inferior vena cava so this inferior vena cava is actually a vein that carries deoxygenated blood or the blood containing carbon dioxide so the blood flow is like this now this blood which reaches deoxygenated blood which reaches over here in right atrium flows down to the right ventricle again from the right ventricle the blood is pushed to the lungs this blood is deoxygenated blood which goes to the lungs and this blood vessel that carries the deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to the lungs is pulmonary artery so this is pulmonary artery and that carries deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to the lungs now the lungs is going to filter the blood it is going to remove the carbon dioxide and it is going to add the oxygen and that oxygenated blood finally reaches to the left ventricle like this so if we notice the direction of blood flow over here from lungs the oxygenated blood comes over here and this blood vessel is called pulmonary vein this pulmonary vein consists of oxygenated blood so this is how the blood flow takes uh, takes place over here now one more thing is there is another vein which comes from the upper body organs this is called superior vena cava that contains deoxygenated blood so the deoxygenated blood from the upper body organs and is collected via superior vena cava and the lower body organs the blood vessel that collects the the oxygenated blood that is called inferior vena cava the superior and inferior vena cava they join together and they pour the deoxygenated blood in the right atrium now there is one important thing that is to be remembered over here we normally say that veins carry deoxygenated blood and the arteries carries oxygenated blood that is not always true here what is the correct definition of the artery arteries are the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the different body organs so this is an artery even though it is carrying an deoxygenated blood this is deoxygenated blood but even though the blood vessel is carrying the blood from the heart to the organ so this is an artery this is a vein because even though it is having oxygenated blood but it is a vein why because veins 
because veins they carry uh, blood from the organs to the heart so the definition of vein is they collect the blood from the organs and they pour it to the heart so let us conclude our discussion what happens is together from the lungs the oxygenated blood reaches over here and deoxygenated blood reaches over here so left atrium and right atrium together receives oxygenated and deoxygenated blood now these two valves they open up so the blood is poured in ventricles and finally these the blood from here goes to the body organs this is again oxygenated blood that oxygenated blood goes to the body organs from here the oxygen is taken out again the uh, this blood becomes carbon dioxide with carbon dioxide and finally it is again pushed back into the heart this carbon dioxide carrying blood is pushed in the right ventricle this right ventricle is going to push the blood into pulmonary artery this pulmonary artery is going to take that carbon dioxide containing blood to the lungs lungs is, are again going to pull out the carbon dioxide add oxygen and again the cycle repeats so in short very small explanation about the human heart hope you enjoyed it